I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll find domain of a function which has been described in words. The question here is a rectangle has perimeter of 24 centimeters. Express the area of the rectangle as a function of length of one side, write domain of the described function. Now this function has been described in words. There are four ways to describe functions as you know. You could have a description as given here. You could have a graph to represent, data to represent, or an equation to represent. So four different ways. So we'll look most of them here in this example. A rectangle has perimeter of 24 centimeters. Let me sketch one here. So this is a rectangle which has perimeter of 24 centimeters. So let's define length and width variables. So let us say that length of this is L and W is the width, right? So these opposite sides are equal as we know, and this is right angles, correct. So that is the rectangle for us. What we are given here is perimeter, which is sum of all sides. So perimeter, which is two times length plus w is given to us right the value is 24 right so 24 is equals to two times length plus w where we have defined our variable i'm not writing it here we have defined our variable l s length w s width and what we need to find is express area of the rectangle as a function of length of one side so we need area of this as a function of length we need to find area as a function of length this is what we need to find that's the objective okay now what is area of a rectangle well area of the rectangle is actually equals to length times width now if you want this equation only in terms of l not width then we have to isolate width from the given condition so let's do that, right? So that's the whole idea. That's our approach. So now we'll divide by 2. So we get 24 divided by 2 equals to length plus width. And that is 12 equals to length plus width. Or we don't want width here. So we'll write width in terms of length, which is 12 minus L. Correct? So this is what we get. So we'll call this equation as, let's say, 2 now. And this equation as 1. And we'll substitute 2 in 1. Correct. So as soon as you do that, what you get is function in length, right? L times 12 minus L. Do you get an idea? Now what do you, I mean, uh, 12 minus L. Correct. So this is what you get. As you can see here, this is an equation in one variable. So we could write this area as a function of L. That is kind of function notation, right? I hope by this by now you're very clear about it so we get our area in this form so that is express the area of a rectangle as a function of length of one side so we could write this as uh, our answer here as it is equals to length times 12 minus length. okay now let's consider how to write domain of this particular function now the critical thing here is that these are dimensions of a rectangle so they have to be positive right so non-negative right so we are looking for positive length is it okay it cannot be negative that's the whole idea so l has to be positive that is that is critical to understand here so what values of l will be positive so you could solve in a couple of ways one you could graph right or you could do inequalities so either way so let me just graph it here um, that is easy graph of area so we're trying to graph this uh, function area which is function of length that means l is the in independent variable it has two zeros one is at zero the other one is at 12 right so let's say 12 so so the graph will be a parabola going downwards right the positive portion of the graph is what you see in between right this is the positive portion of the graph and that forms the domain for us the two zeros are at 0 and 12 correct so you could write from here that the domain is from 
0 to 12 right so that is the domain it is only in this portion that the graph is positive right so that becomes the solution from the graph itself well we are not looking into range at times we are also interested in in the range of values so you can find the maximum by placing 6 here right so if i place 6 here i get 6 times 12 minus 6 is also 6 so we get 36 so the range will be from 0 to 36 so we are not getting there okay anyway the other method is the interval method let me discuss that also so intervals so will these two zeros as you can see divide the plane into three intervals now this is one interval which is from minus infinity to zero that's the another one from zero to twelve and then we have from twelve to infinity correct these intervals we have got as a result of zeros at zero and twelve is it okay now what we do here is we just test these two factors one is l the other one is 12 minus l so if i substitute a test point let me take a test point also okay so let me use different ink here to find test point okay let the test point in this interval be minus 1 here we could take 1 and here we could take 15 for example so if i write minus 1 here l will be minus 1 we are only interested in sign so i'm just putting the sign minus 1 here 12 minus 1 is positive uh, 12 i mean m minus or minus 1 positive minus 1 is also positive but if i write 15 12 minus 15 is negative right now as you know product of two positives is positive product of a positive and a negative is negative so these ones are negative for us and this one is positive so we know that only this interval 0 to 12 is the one where the value of l is positive and therefore the domain is between this interval so it is between 0 and 12 do you see that so that becomes the answer for the domain so i hope both these methods are absolutely clear and in doing so we started from a word description we created an equation right and we also represent that equation in the form of a graph and you could always put some data for the same correct the possible values of length and width i'm anil kumar and i hope that you find this uh, video interesting and informative about how to find domain of functions which are described in words Thank you and all the best.